So we're over here on uh, Saturday, uh, right after thanks, uh, no not Thanksgiving, right after um, New Year's, uh, first Saturday of New Year's, we're working in the shop, we're having a good time. Got us a little minor collision job here. Um, our buddy Bill, Air Force guy, Staff Sergeant Bill, 88 year old Bill, uh, Korean War vet Bill, um, used to fly a bomber plane in Korea. Uh, got rear-ended. This guy here gets some more wrecks than I've ever seen in my life. But uh, anyway, we're fixing this, getting her done, and it's looking good. And that's, you know, what we're doing here. We're, we're showing you what's going on. We're doing the walk-arounds. We're walking around, and we're showing you because you, you, the viewer, wants to see the walk-around. And you want to see finished products because we never see the finished products here. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. This is actually part two of where is the car. Why don't we get to see walk-arounds of finished cars? This is part two. So, you know, let's go ahead and continue. Let's keep going as we walk around the car and show you what the hell's going on here. Just randomly looking I mean you know this is before I want to show everybody this this thing right here let me tell you how much that little piece cost here's a good walk around for you okay $300 $300 for that thing so if you own a Tacoma be prepared to have a big bank account all right have the bank account you're gonna need it when you wreck your car very expensive so back to this situation here's the before Let's go ahead and check that out. You see the before situation. You see where it got rear-ended right here and tailgate's crushed up. Okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's going on, guy? Mr. Glass Guy Ricky. You interrupt me on my video. We're doing walk-arounds today. We want to see finished products. Yeah. Okay, listen no to much. me. Listen we to me. We got door and we're going to get some belt yeah. to finish off. Yeah, let me, uh, let me explain. Can you come over here, please, bud? <laughs> okay, because you're backlit. Nobody can see you. Yeah, we want to make sure everybody <laughs> sees. Let me ask you a question. We're doing a walk around here. Finished products. Okay, so you're telling me it's not finished. You're not going to finish it today. Well, you we still got one more whole door over okay, there. Come on over here, Rick. Hey. There you go, bud. What's yeah. going on, Redneck Rick? Oh, man, we're going to try to pick up some belt. Come you're going to get some belt for it. You're going to hook them up. I appreciate that. That'd yeah. be nice. Yeah, we've got the, we okay. have, um, but the door rubber's on. Door rubber's on this. This door's oh, this, done. This yeah. Door's done. So this is a walk around saying, hey, this is a finished product at SWRC. That's right. Am I right? Yeah, that's Look at that. that. yeah, yeah, done. Look what we done. got. Go ahead and shut that. Looky there, bud. There you go. That's a walk around. It says, look, it's done. Yeah, right. You know? Now, what's going on with this door, yeah, guys? Give me some angles. Yeah, that's the whole door. Done. Okay. Whole door to do on this yeah, one. We got this door to do, and then guess what? We get a walk around the car and look at it. And then done. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. Now, I get a lot of people that says they've never seen any walk around cars, they've never seen anything done over here. <laughs> Ricky, what are you thinking about that, bud? I've seen some finished products. Have we seen finished products? Because there's a lot of people here that says they ain't seen any. Rick's Glass Company in Arlington, Texas. Am I right? That's right. Arlington Auto Glass, Okay, yeah. if you got a classic car, who are we calling? Uh, who are we Auto calling? Glass. Yeah. Rick's Auto Glass. Let's get you, <laughs> let's get you fun because we want to make sure everybody sees this since yeah. we're done. Yeah. You know? We got yeah. a finished product here. We got to advertise about the finished product. I like the way that glass fits. The chrome really came out nice. What are you thinking? Yeah, yeah. Really, Fit really, really good. That's yeah. original green tank glass. With the chrome. Yeah, with the chrome. Around. Looking yeah. nice because it's done. It's a walk around, see? Yeah. All right, well, there it is right there. There's your uh, business card right on the back of the truck. Give these guys a call and uh, let's support our locals here. If you live in Dallas, Fort Worth, what are you working on over here? What's this for? 
Uh, these are Peterbilt. These Those are, are Peterbilt. You guys do a lot of trucks, right? Yeah, AMX Javelin. Javelin, what year? 74. 74 job. Where's that going, guys? House of Hot Rod. Can we go over there and look at it? Can we do a walk around and they're finished jobs? Uh, you probably you think? Because it sounds like those guys get it done. I don't. I don't ever finish anything. <laughs> I don't finish. We'll see you later, guys. Later on, man. Monday morning, bro. Uh, Monday. All right, we need to get it done. I want to walk around. I know. We got to get done. We got to have a walk around. We got to finish it. It'll be Monday sometime. All right, we got to finish it, man. We got to finish it. Okay. So we're working on the GTO. We're getting it done, and we're doing a walk around, and you're seeing it in in, in actually almost real life here. This is real time. Okay, we're, we're not speeding it up, we're not slowing it down, we're not doing any special effects to the film, we're not using, uh, you know, some high-tech video program to, to make it look like it's done. I mean, we don't have CNG here, I mean, I'm going to touch that and show you, look, it's, you know, it's in there, it's done deal, and, and it looks beautiful. But the thing is, 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 yeah, it's done. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? It's done. And I hope everybody out there just loves the walk around videos on this. I'm sorry, we were uh, uh, filming part one of this video set. The hand's doing the talking here. Uh, yeah. Um, and we were, we were, when we were filming it, we were actually in the middle of working on our beautiful little Volkswagen Maxwell. Let's take a look at that. Let's, let's do a walk around. Let's do a walk around on that because that was only like less than 48 hours ago. So, the last time we saw little Maxwell, the Volkswagen Bug, uh, we saw where we were doing body work to it late at night on New Year's Day. And now you can see that it's primed. It's primed. We're doing a walk around. Let me touch it. We don't want CNG going on. There it is. I'm touching it. I'm touching it and I'm looking at primer. And, and you know, it's done. Okay, there's your walk around on the roof. The next stage is stripping all the chrome off, getting all the rubber. We got to take the running boards off. We got to get the mirrors off. All the lights got to come out. We got to gut the car out to paint. We're going to go ahead and paint all the green on this car. We still got some dents. Let me show you. Here's a dent. I guess a limb fell on right here. Um, we got to finish this area out right here. We got a few dings in this fender over here. Hello. What's going on? We're doing walk-arounds on finished products. What are you thinking about that? Nobody says they ever see a finished. There ain't nothing finished here. I know. Well, yeah, we're, we're done with the roof. The roof's, it's finished. Oh. Okay? Yeah. The windows that Rick put in behind your shoulder over there, those are finished, see? Finished. We're doing walk-arounds. Finished. We're doing walk-arounds. So, we did our walk-around with Minnie. I'm sorry. Um, did we do the walk-around on the collision job yet? Let's go in the paint booth. Let's do the walk-around on the before and after. All right, we got to have light. You know, you got to turn the lights on. It's got to be nice and bright so everybody can see the walk around. I, I don't want to do walk arounds. Um, but, you know, it's important and it's crucial to everybody out there that we do the walk around because then you, the viewer, okay, I'm right here. See that right there? You, the viewer, get the angles and get the feel of you're in here with me. See, you are now in virtual reality and you're, you're in the shop with me working. Let's go ahead and open this door and okay we got the lights on let's go ahead okay here's our finish here you go before and after look at that look at it beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful death lady it's before and after you saw the before picture this is the after picture and we're walking around it and seeing the finished product over here at SWRMC DIY Auto School well I'm actually kind of embarrassed and and, and ashamed of myself because the last video of this little series here took us into the Mercedes world, the Mercedes Benz world, and we had a guy tell us that um, he clarified the moonroof. Okay, we're doing our walk around on it. Uh, we haven't done anything to it. Don't get me wrong. I'm sorry. I did some body work here. We probably got probably got a little dust on it. So. You just saw it. You just saw the dust on the car. But we had a guy clarify the situation on this moonroof action. Um, if it's got a metal roof, it's called a sunroof. Metal roof, metal sliding roof means sunroof. And then if you got glass, it's called the moonroof. So, uh, Mr. Majestic, the guy that owns this car, is going to be really, really upset to hear this. It's probably going to break his heart. He might have a stroke over it because it's, uh, he keeps calling this a moonroof car and it's not. 
It's literally a sunroof car. We just learned some today and I walked around it and I told you this. I learned that from a YouTuber guy out there that told me this. Wow! What do you think of that guy? What do you think? Mr. Majestic, you got a sunroof Mercedes, not a moonroof, bitch! So I'm gonna ask you the question, the viewer, this is a very important question, please answer. Do I need to continue with this series of where is the finished product? Where's the finished car at? I'm sorry, we haven't done anything to that yet. Please don't ask about it. Don't say that you've never seen it walked around. It's not done, we can't talk about it. It's, it's, it's in progress, okay? I don't even wanna talk about that car. But let me ask you this. Do I really need to go any further with this action and continue, continue to advertise that we do finish products over here at SWRNC DIY Auto School? One man operation with, of course, helper, Minnie the Body Shop Girl. We do finish them, we bust ass, we get her done. We're working 18, 19 hours a day. And, 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 and we're coming through to satisfy you, the viewer that wants to leave comments that says, I have never seen a finished product in this guy's shop. Who the hell is this guy? So that's the angle we got, that's the situation. You know, these guys are keeping me on my tiptoes over here, these haters and these trollers. They're keeping me on my tiptoes and they're making me work more hours than I should work. This is Saturday, I should be out enjoying life. I should be riding my bicycle, uh, maybe losing a few pounds instead of, you know, being stuck in here and, 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 and you know, grunging it up over at the prison yard. But you know, the haters and the, and the, uh, the trollers, you know, they got me locked up in here. They, they won't give me my key back so I can leave. You know, what am I supposed to do? I'm trying to please you. I'm trying to show you that yes, we're finishing the cars. And when they're done, we'll walk around the ones I want to walk around with. And of course, the ones the customer wants you to see. Until then, this is Pete over here at SWRC working while you're out playing. Take it easy. Drunk. 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 Makes me all go away, come and shine. Red, red wine, so mellow and fine. Come home at night with a swing in the head. Reach for the pillow, Mr. Hold on bed. Drunk. What you're looking at right here is a diabolical <laughs> mess. Now, let me go ahead and explain the situation here. I was getting ready to do a walk around on this because, you know, a lot of people out there say I don't do walk arounds on finished products. They say, you know, I ain't never seen cars come out of this guy's shop done. So, we get the glass installed, all the glass is installed on it. We got the thing painted. We got it to the point where I'm done with the car. I'm not doing anything else to the car. Uh, the car is done. But then I get over here to the deck lid, and I'm not really happy with it. The deck lid is not closing properly. Something is wrong with the deck lid. Well, it finally occurred to me, and you can see here that, uh, yeah, the tail panel had to all be welded up. I got to grind all that down. It looks like shit. Talk about gorilla welds. There's a finished job. Is it? Is it finished? We don't know. But uh, what happened here, and I'm not going to take that off. We'll look at it in a minute. Um, I have to go buy this uh, heavy-duty ABS plastic to cover the car because it's done. The owner wanted to come pick his car up. I was going to right align the trunk. And we were done with it, but we're not done now. Because what happened is, and this is another scenario of videos for YouTube. Okay, this is the situation you have when you're making these videos for YouTube. 
this car was unloaded from, we took, we got it at the junkyard, we brought it over here, and we unloaded it, and Nitpick Norm took his Bobcat to unload this car. He unloaded the car off the trailer uh, with his Bobcat, and when he stuck the forks under the car and kind of, I guess, lifted it up and drug it off, okay, can I go ahead and say, drug it off the trailer, because this car was a junkyard car, it didn't have any front clip on it, no fenders, no hoods, no nothing, it was just mainly the body and the frame. He pulls it off, and the forks of the forklift on his bobcat jammed up in here, it, it picked up this whole back panel, which I had to replace the panel anyway, but then it got up into the floor, which the floor we needed replaced, I didn't really think about that, but when it bent that panel, what happened is the latch plate behind all this plastic here got twisted and bent all together. Now I forgot about that. I forgot all about it. I put the latch plate on the panel when I replaced the floor and the tail light panel. Didn't think about it until we installed the deck lid. And the fucking deck lid would not latch to the body of the car. And it was all fucked up so I had to take the latch assembly off, rip it off of there, I had to rip it off because it was spot welded onto the car, I had to rip it off, uh, basically crawl into the trunk, um, it took us a couple hours to line all this shit up, I, I put my welders in there, I put that in where it's supposed to go while the trunk was shut, latch down, this, that and the other, and this is where we're at now, is welding all of the holes up on the uh, tail light panel here. Uh, Vigorously filling in holes. You can see what's going on. I got to grind all that shit down. I got to do some minor body work. We're going to have to repaint this tail light panel and hopefully the car will be done. Hopefully. But this is an example that's showing you what's going on over here and what kind of action we got when we're trying to finish the cars to do the walk around. Now's the time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And click the bell. Comment below. Because if you don't, this redneck cocksucker is going to be inside the bed sheets tonight uh, when you go to bed. And uh, yeah, redneck situation. Click, subscribe, the bell, and do it for my friend P. Show your support, or the cocksucker is going to show his. Damn it. Trump. So get a little taste and you want some more So I walk